Hi, in this uh, video we'll uh, discuss how the business model canvas as an analysis tool helps us in uh, designing and building uh, Salesforce CRM systems. So first, uh, the most obvious way is it helps you get your arms around a business, uh, who it serves, how it uh, makes its returns. And second, often a Salesforce initiative is in the context of redesigning a business. So perhaps new uh, segments to serve, new value propositions, uh, new channels. The canvas helps model and communicate the current state and future state. Uh, third, going along with this is it helps in mapping uh, how the CRM system helps the bottom line, how specifically the revenues are going up, what aspects of the costs is the system saving, and in what ways is the value proposition uh, morphing. And that way it helps understand the drivers for a Salesforce initiative and make the business case. So what do we mean by using patterns? Uh, one is able to take the understanding of a business model canvas from one organization abstract it into a pattern and apply it elsewhere. So let me explain. Um, as an example, we have done some work with a SaaS subscription-based business. We are now able to take the design concepts from there to other subscription businesses. So being able to think in terms of business patterns abstractly helps your um, Salesforce design as well. Let's uh, shift gears and uh, let's look at how the building blocks of the canvas have a bearing on the design as well. Let's start with the um, customer segments. Different customer segments have different behaviors and needs and your interactions and processes with each segment are different. So also the data that you collect about customers, about contacts, about opportunities with them are all different by segment. So it uh, makes your Salesforce system design that much thorough and complete to think through the different nuances for each um, segment. Now, when it comes to the different channels that your customers want to be reached through, uh, some of these could be um, direct channels like your direct sales team or the web, or some of these could be indirect channels like the wholesalers, the retailers. The uh, interactions that the customers are having with you across these channels are different, be it a personal interaction with a store associate at the point of sale or uh, through call centers, through emails, through self-service, uh, through communities of customers helping each other, solving each other's problems. So as you can see, there's a case for a Salesforce product and feature for each of these interactions. So um, in modeling the customer relationships, we are actually modeling the customer's journey with us. Uh, how do they first become aware of our products and services? How do they go about evaluating us? How do they purchase from us? What is their experience after purchase? So all of this understanding of their journey translates directly into the sales process or the service process that you model in Salesforce.